So we came out to Phoenix today, uh, which is usually one of my favorite places, but it's like 187 degrees and it's miserable hot. I mean, horrible. Well, at least I'm in here and not out there. This is pretty good. I must be moving up in the world. I get to get chauffeured around now to go buy cars. Monkey chauffeur. <laughs> The only reason we're enduring this heat is that I was poking around on the internet the other day and clicked on a particular vehicle for sale that both Aaron and I have been wanting to build for a long time. Is that right here? That's cream puff sitting outside. God, look at that. That thing. with those wire hubcaps. <laughs> I got dirt on those. That's what I'm talking about. Kick ass. I love it. Oh, man. El Camino. Sit tight, America. In just seconds, we're going to show you a truck we think is truly amazing. The 1980 Chevy El Camino. Since they first popped on the scene in 1959, Americans have both loved and laughed at Chevy El Caminos. Chevy called it a truck, but it was actually based on a station wagon wheelbase. So it's a little bit of both, or some of neither. My parents actually had a 1980, but by then they were much smaller, much more square, and much less brawn under the hood. They're kind of weird, but I've kind of got a you know soft spot in my heart for them. Pretty slick. If this one's in good shape, it could be a lot of fun Are to play around teens? with. What's up, guys? Hey, What's sir. On, man? Richard Rollins. Calvin. Calvin, Calvin how you doing? Calvin. Pleasure. Aaron, nice Aaron. to meet you. Nice to I meet do, you. I'm Charles. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. So, uh, your dad bought this new? Brand new, right off the lot. Rad. 1980. Portland, Oregon. <laughs> when he passed away nine years ago, I took possession of it, and it's been here in Phoenix, Arizona ever since. That's OG right there. What is this, velvet? At first glance, it seemed to be in pretty good shape, especially considering it's over 35 years old. But we did know going into it that it had an older repaint on it. One thing that I'm always leery of is like a cheap paint job maybe hiding a lot of damage or bondo. Was there any body damage when it got painted or just get baked off? No, it just got baked off. Open the, open the hood, what motor's in there? It's probably oh, hot. Yeah, watch her, yeah. This here is 305. Huh? So that's probably a whopping 182 horsepower, isn't it? On the day it was born, definitely ain't that now. I would say more like 80. Can I take it for a test drive? Sure. Dang, yeah. Yeah. the key's hot. Wait for me. Did I mention it's about 187 degrees? Ow! <laughs> Miserable hot. <laughs> well, obviously, that we're gonna have to fix that problem. Yeah, it's really like uh, more of a cruiser. Look at that power. Not <laughs> cruising in the El Camino. Traffic circle coming up. Want to do it? Oh yeah. Let her rip. Tater chip. <laughs> Come on, come on. I tried to do a burnout, uh, sling it around the corner. Go, go, go. Not happening. Those 14s, they were sticking to the ground. Probably because it's so damn hot here. I'm like 187 degrees right now. Come on, <laughs> come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's about all it had. <laughs> that definitely failed the Richard burnout test. I don't care. I've always loved these G bodies. Charles is right. The cool thing about these cars is they're built on the same G-body platform as the Chevy sedans, like the Malibu and the Monte Carlo, which means there's a ton of aftermarket parts for them. Rad! You can't go wrong with a car like this. Awesome, man. Well, uh, I guess it is what you said it is, so uh, how much you want for it? I'd like 10 grand for it, Richard. I think she... <laughs> I think she's worth it. God, God, man. 10 grand. $10,000 hairs? Mm-hmm. I would like to sell one of these for 10 grand. So no surprise, he throws out a pretty big number for a car like this, even in good condition. So 10, I'm not going there. I know. And this is broken. You know, hit me with a price, Richard. What do you think? I thinking? was thinking about 6,500 bucks. 65? 6,500. I can't do it, man. How about nine, Richard? You're, yeah, you're getting, getting there, but I'm closer. thinking seven. Still a little low. It's so damn hot here. Can't even think. Let's get it over with. What is it, like 187 we'll just shake on eight. Eight? All right, we're shaking. We own it. <laughs> like your <Good>. style. <laughs> Eight grand. I think it's fair for the car. I would like to have gotten it a little bit cheaper, but it's a good car to start with. Um, yank out that anemic motor, throw something uh, big and badass in, scare women and children, we're good to go. Let's do some paperwork. You got cold beer in the fridge? Right this way. Hey, um, I think you're going to have to pass. You got a long way to get that thing back to Dallas. Hope you got your AAA card. Really like this car. Growing up, man, it was one of the cars that I always wanted to build. I'm going to put my own little touch on it on the way home. The El Camino is now El Camino. You gotta be kidding me. No AC?
thousand miles with no AC in the summer. You all right? Sweet. You made it back from Arizona, huh? Man, I would have yeah. had the windows down. That window doesn't work. You want some water? Yeah. Well, here, have some. <laughs> uh, well, you need to get up and work now. You already did the easy part. You drove here. I mean, you give a guy what amounts to practically a paid vacation driving through the uncharted paths of our great country, and what do you get? Just complain, complain, complain. Wow, it's really starting to come down out there. Who cares about that? I want to know what you think about my El Cimino. An El Cimino, what does that mean? Is that like a different model? It's, it's uh, Charles Cimino. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. El Caminos are like kind of a weird thing. Somebody who has an El Camino, you're not real sure about it. It's like people who own vans with no windows. It's, it's kind of a different type of person, right? Mm hmm. I'm not really big on El Caminos. Never restored or rebuilt one, but it's kind of a cool car. It's clean. Earthquake test. Whoa! Suspension needs a little work. That doesn't sound super well. Uh-uh. Well, the motor's definitely nothing I'd ride on. Yeah, it's pretty much worthless. It's got an awful <laughs> lot of shiny stuff on it. So what are we going to do with it? Charles wants to name it El Cimino and take it home. I want to paint it like a lowrider. I just don't want it. What about you, sir? <laughs> I want to say go fast. Heck yeah. Gas monkeyed up. So what are we going to do with it? I'm asking a crazy question. What do we do with all of them? Make them cool. So here's the plan for our little uh, shady ADL Camino. Basically, it's not really a car and it's not really a truck, but what we're gonna do is make it so sexy and so fast that it'll stick a smile on your face and keep it plastered there for a long, long time. The first step will be to lower the altitude and raise the performance, which will yield a ton more attitude. We'll slam it down and motivate it with a mass black label LS3 engine coupled to a T56 that should produce about 630 horsepower. Once we increase the rubber presence substantially, add some big brakes to stop all that power, and update the gauges and upholstery, this car will have a new lease online. Now, we don't want to mess around with the classic El Camino look, or why start with an El Camino at all. And since it's black, we're going to keep it black. Now, Mike, I know that's a lot of work for you, but too bad. But we are going to remove a lot of the bright work and then narrow and tuck those big, wide bumpers to clean up the lines. The great thing is, is since it's a G-body, it's on a GM platform, which means all the parts for it should be fairly easy to get. So I told Aaron I would give him four weeks and 30,000 bucks to get it done. And you know what he said? Four weeks? I'll do you one better. I bet I could even have this thing done in three.